Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, this is your reading for the month of June. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading Capricorn, we'll see what is your overall energy, what you need to know for the month of June and energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. Alright, so let's get started now. Let's get started. Three of Cups. Uh, you are in a very light-hearted mood, Capricorn. Okay. Uh, I certainly feel like the month of the June is a month where you're going to see results of your hard work. So you will also think of taking sabbatical from the work and spending time with near and dear ones, engaging into some celebrations. There is a, lot, there is a very strong celebratory mood uh, in the month of June. I also feel for some of you, some significant events might get fixed in the month of June. Like someone's marriage might get fixed, Capricorn. Either your or with someone within the family or maybe friend's marriage. But I'm hearing someone's marriage is getting fixed or engagement might happen. Um, apart from that, I also feel for some of you... I mean, even you're taking a sabbatical from the work, uh, you will engage yourself in... Uh, productive activities I don't see you sitting idle okay I do see you might engage into home renovations some furniture is broken you're going to take care of that uh, you wanted to call a plumber since a very long time and you're going to take care of that okay uh, there is something that is changing I think so for some of you your wardrobe is changing Apart from that, there is also something else that is changing for you. Okay, maybe you will go for a haircut. I am I'm, I'm certainly feeling like your overall mood is is a self indulgent mood. Uh, yes, you are taking care of a couple of other. Uh, uh, there are some domestic chores that you will be taking care of, but more of it's it's a self indulgent mood. Uh, you are into this energy where you want to pamper yourself where you want to take care of yourself, where you want to bring in, bring on certain changes within you as well. There is a new look, new wardrobe that you want to, that you want to uh, work on. Okay. So certain things are changing about you. Okay. And uh, overall, I see a very fantastic mood. I also see that you're going to catch up with people from the past, like old friends, uh, school friends, high school friends, or uh, you're going to go and visit that place where you were born, okay, if you're no more in that place. The, the, you, you will also try to revive some old memories, not related to love and romance, not related to your exes, but something that was very memorable and something that was very near and dear to you once upon a time, especially while growing up. Okay, you will try to revisit that place or re revisit that memory. Okay. Uh, then we have Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is telling me that someone is coming towards you. See, when you are in this stress-free energy, okay, I'm not at all surprised that this someone special, someone... Uh, who has a romantic interest in you is approaching you and this happens this certainly happens when we are in the stress-free energy so definitely we see a lot of romantic interest coming towards you we see a lot of uh, people showing interesting interest in us and not only they will show interest in us they will approach they will approach us okay they will be open about uh, you know uh, open about dating they will be open about relationships they will be vulnerable in front of you to show their feelings when we are under some stress or when we uh, are focusing on certain things what we do is we kind of block other other things in our life okay and now because you are in a stress-free energy because you are in a light-hearted energy you're also attracting a lot of romantic interest so someone is certainly charging towards you the hermit the Hermit is telling me, uh, Capricorn, I 
I think so as as much as you want to spend time with people as much as you want to spend time um you know rejuvenating your energy equally or more than that I also feel like you want to spend time with yourself there is some contemplation that you want to do uh there is some introspection that you want to do and you you actually want to dedicate time towards that you actually want to devote your time towards that contemplation um introspection working on uh, not making sure that you are not repeating the mistakes thinking about the future thinking about uh, uh where do you want to see next 10 years and all that stuff okay so i do see you will be spending a lot of time with yourself as well for some of you you will also feel like i have achieved a good deal of materialistic life i want to focus on spirituality now i have achieved a good deal of materialistic goals i have good deal of money i have a home for myself maybe multiple real estate properties i have uh, traveled across the world but now i want to focus on something that matters to me and i want to go within and that is only possible if i invite spirituality in my life or if i get more closer and closer to the world of spirituality so it is also likely that you will try to incorporate certain things in the month of june certain things like meditation you will be like i want to i want to make this as a routine i want to include meditation uh, as my morning routine and this is something that will stay with me life long maybe i want to do yoga classes every alternate day and this is going to stay with me life long so hermit is telling me that uh you're trying to go inward as well like as much as you're trying to spend time with the external energies with friends and families and lot of stuff i also feel like you will also spend some time with yourself evaluating your own life okay Let's talk more about your love life. We have nine of swords, lot of nines over here. Then we have nine of wands, nine nine nine. Hermit is also the ninth major arcana, and then we have the sun. Interesting. So Capricorn, I do feel like if at all there was any kind of energetic uh, attachment with anyone from the past, uh, certainly that energetic attachment is no more. Okay. if you wanted to cut the cords with anyone from the past you have succeeded in doing that okay and uh and i i feel like the your ex is feeling that i mean your ex is no more experiencing your energy and that has made them restless maybe your ex was still surviving on your energetic supply and if at all you were feeling stressed out or if at all you were feeling drained for no reason that was because someone from the past was still codependent on your energetic supply and now you have succeeded in cutting off that energetic supply uh with your ex and that is why this ex is feeling restless they have also understood that you no more want to come back to them okay you have no interest in them whatsoever and there is no intention to reignite any situation with them and this realization is hitting them hard okay like they are under a lot of stress they are crying thinking about you but this situation is over for you and it it probably it was long over for you okay only what was pending was the cutting cutting of cords stopping that energetic supply okay as far as a new person is concerned certainly there is someone that is coming towards you uh, however again i feel like you are coming across as bit reluctant or uncertain about this person you will also kind of draw parallels between this new person and someone from the past who had betrayed you uh but don't do that okay 
don't do that this person is very different this person is very different they are yes no doubt they are very passionate they are very energetic and uh, they will from the very beginning itself they will make it very clear that they are interested in you they are going to portray a big picture in front of you but they are doing all these things because they really mean that in the past everyone did the same thing like everyone from your past was pretty open from the beginning you know they raised your hopes because they had portrayed a very big picture on your mind but they had no intentions to create that picture or to to bring that picture into a reality okay they were just infusing your mind with certain thoughts so that they could trap you and they could have some fun time with you but this person this person is showing that passion they are creating a, a they do have a vision with you they are creating a big picture because they really mean that they really really mean that they mean that because they like you they love you they want to be with you okay so that is why this nine of wands like you might feel initially like oh this person is no different they are also portraying a big picture and ultimately they will kind of betray me and go somewhere and you know they will have some fun time with me and then they will ghost me again but no this person is different because the sun card is here the sun card is telling me that you're going to experience a lot of happiness a lot of joy true joy true happiness unconditional love something that you have not experienced so far this is what this person is bringing to your to your life All right I hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person all right take care have a great time and bye bye capricorn and this is your spread bye